Survivor, season 45, episode two. <clears throat> I do not like these 90 minute episodes. It's too long. <laughs> um, I like the hour. It it goes by quickly. The 90 minutes just it's like, oh. Um, but I get it. I know that there's no other content. I, I get the strikes and everything. So fine, we go 90 minutes. Um, I'll live with it. Uh, we're gonna go with what I know, tribe by tribe, because and most of the time we're spent with the yellow tribe. <laughs> For obvious reasons. But I gotta say, Bruce is really annoying. And I know there's a lot of editing that goes on in these programs, but um, oh boy, the nonstop and the you know, and the and and the descriptions of him not stop talking and uh, pulling faces and making noises, it's, it's like shut the fuck up. Uh, that would drive me insane. Um I like quiet time. It's hard to think when there's just all that, you know, input all the time. Um, so, and uh, his whole thing about, you know, don't call me dad, call me uncle. And he doesn't want to be seen as the, you know, the guy who knows stuff. And he's so concerned about, you know, being a threat, blah, blah, blah. And he says all these words, but then he's like, he, and he even said, talking about the other people in his tribe, you know, uh, would I say that to my other kids? My other kids. He considers them his children, and he points out, "Oh, well, you know what? Would, you know what would blow people's minds? You're 22, and I'm 46. That doesn't blow anybody's mind. It's Survivor. You work with who you work with. It should that age gap shouldn't make a difference." He's so impressed with himself for being older than them and having been there for one fucking day and getting himself knocked out of the game. Like, slow your roll, Bruce. You're no fucking hero. Um, anyway, that's, he's irritating. And that one girl on that tribe, I don't know her name, um, who just, it, it was just like, they're all eating it up. And he does this feeds his soul. She, um, she, I love her. She's on top of it. Uh, she's not playing, um, that game. And she is going to be, uh, I think one to watch, um, uh, as this goes forward. Cause she, uh, she's a, you know, an independent thinker, an observer, um, and clearly cuts to what uh, what's going on. So I I hope she does well because she's fun. Um, Bruce won't because he can't pick up a social clue to save his life. Neither can Emily, but we'll get to her in a minute. Um, uh, I, the only one else else in that tribe I, I, that I think I know of is Jake. Um, it was just cute in his, you know, doughy white guy way. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know enough, enough about this tribe yet. Um, and I can't really remember any of their names. Um, but uh, then there's the the tribe with big tall giant Drew, the um, the Ivy League guy. Is he going to mention that in every episode? Because that's going to be annoying. Um. Uh, but he solved his puzzle and got his little advantage, which he then said, which is called uh, safety without power. And then he immediately says after that, now I have power in the game. Well, no, you really don't. You have safety. You have, an, you, have a, you have a way out, but you have no power to wield. The only power is not uh, l letting anyone else vote for you, which is safety. Uh, so way to go, Yaley or you know, Harvard. I don't know. Either way. Um Ivy boy. <laughs> um, but his little conversation with um, the mom, who I think her name is Julie, that was super cute. Um, and uh, and then wanting, that wanting to bring in, I think his name is Austin. Is that his name? Uh, who is super cute. Um, he's like, you know, the new generation Aussie to me. Um, I hope he's really good at stuff because he's cute and he seems smart and he's like on it um and then i don't know what else is going on in that tribe uh then we get to the yellow tribe the dumb white people in the yellow tribe the rest of them are great um i love caleb uh he's so handsome and you know oh and he's talking about emily and he's like i'll bring you along so fucking cute um but he's not, he's just going to use her 
uh, because she's desperate. So good for you, Caleb. Um, and uh, Sabaya, is that her name? Uh, had so many great moments in this episode when she was like, I didn't think I was running the show, but I th- I might be, and I kind of like it. Um, and her reaction when she found the idol encased in wax just to fall down laughing, which would be my reaction. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> like, <laughs> here's a thing that I can't get to that I really, really need because we don't have any fire because Brandon won't let us win anything. Um, yeah, the puzzle guy who can't do a puzzle. Oh, man. Brandon. Him doing that puzzle by himself, narrating the whole thing. And I don't know if they told him to do that or not. Um, Drew didn't seem to be narrating his out loud. Um, I also didn't like his strategy of throwing the puzzle, the puzzle pieces into the sand when he was done with them. Because then it's too hard to know whether or not you fucked it up. At least Brandon had the right idea. It's like, let me put my pairs together to make sure that they're pairs. Um, there wasn't a lot of room, but it would have made more sense to put them next to each other. But anyway, um, I get it. They're saving space to put them on top of each other. But he didn't come to the realization that he got it wrong quick enough. Um, but his narration was hilarious. I've waited so long to do this. I guess I wait a little longer. Like, oh, yes, you do. Like, forever, Brandon. <laughs> god the poor thing and emily just can't get out of her own analytical way um she does talk too much she is too negative she's she does come up with too many problems and even her way of trying to relate to people by being self-aware um in in in, in its own way is um a strategy born of analysis. Like there isn't any, she doesn't have a lot of, um, you know, human emotional intelligence. She doesn't, she can't read a room. Um, she, it's just like, okay, um, I, I'm i going to do this thing. I'm going to be me. And then it's like, oh, wait, okay. I was told I shouldn't be me. Um, so I need to uh, do something else. What can I do, right? To, and it's not it's not like she, there's any kind of personal um interaction going on or any kind of emotional connection that she's making it's how can i fix this um using my brain um cuz there is no there's just no emotion i know she got very emotional doing her little um uh you know talking head situation but i think that was because it was like i don't know it was frustration i don't know how to deal with this unless I can figure out how to analyze my way out of it. Um, I thought it was very telling in, um, I don't know, it was in Tribal Council. At one point she was talking about how, you know, she's going to have to watch this back. I think this is going to be hard for her um, to see the edit um, and to see the other people talking about her. Although it does sound like people tried to warn her in advance before she got there that she's, um, you know, coming on too strong. And one of them said, I think it was Caleb said, you know, she's trying to play all 26 days in the first one. And that's what she was doing. Like, she just, she was, uh, she's too hard. Um, although I do have to give her credit because there have been other players that have taken the whole season um, to figure out that they have to tone themselves down. Um, so at least she had the wherewithal to figure it out. But again, there's no heart in it. There's no emotion. There's no human connection. It is all analysis and 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 strategy. Um, coming out of her but um she lived to see another day because uh again strategically she gave away her shot in the dark this is how i'm going to buy trust um and brandon can't do anything he's supposed to be the puzzle guy um but he can't do the puzzles that's sad and he's not good um physically and I love that he thinks socially, you know, I'm the jam, but you know, I- I'm not sure that you are because <laughs> uh, people like you, but that's not enough. enough. Like that's, and, and that is a detriment later in the game. If you're too likable, you got to go. So I, I, I don't, I don't think he was a big thinker um, to be honest. And uh and that's okay. Um, it just, 
you know, he was such a super fan and that's really cute, but I don't necessarily think they need to be staffing this, this, this Island up with all super fans um, that know every nuance of the game. I'm not a super fan. I watched the program, but like, I don't remember people's names even during the season, let alone the season after. I usually forget most of what happened at the season before by the time the next season starts. I um, I enjoy the program while I'm watching it, but then it's just sort of, it's, you know, it's like the beach. It's ephemeral. It just, it, it, it's, it, it comes and it goes. Um, but uh, so Emily lives. Uh, I think that does not bode well um, for the future. I think that um, we're going to see in the next episode, the yellow tribe sticks together. Um, I don't know. It looks, the previews looked like there's maybe an accident that happens that could, but maybe the yellow team actually wins something. But um, I just feel like she's kind of set up to be the villain of, of the first half of the thing. And so she's going to have a story arc that continues. Um, I sure as hell hope Spike. Like, couldn't she have put her wax idol into that big cauldron thing at 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 um, uh, at tribal council? Or is it like a candle that she actually has to light the wick and let and wait for it? Like, I just feel like couldn't you put it in something and just let all the wax wax melt away? But maybe I don't know. I don't know the rules of that. Um, uh, you know, idol encased in wax, which is like the you know office joke about the the um, stapler encased in Jello. But at least in Jello, you can see the stapler. We don't even know <laughs> where that idol is in there. <laughs> oh, the poor thing. Anyway, um, that just means um, Mark Caleb, which is good. And uh, um, if there is an injury next week, which the the that's what the teaser trailer things sort of like i need them to stop using people's injuries as entertainment um that's not fun to watch and um it's sure as hell not fun for the person who it happened to to have to watch it so i don't i don't i don't care for that kind of um trauma tv but then again you know isn't the whole thing kind of traumatic <laughs> in a way? <laughs> Yet I enjoy that. Uh, so we'll see what happens in, in episode three.